Are you looking for an easy way to color a straw hat or wicker texture with watercolor and pencil? Today, I will show you three quick steps that will help you achieve this popular texture in your art. And watch to the end for a bonus tip. And if you're new here, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my art studio. I have a master's in art history, have been a professional artist for over a decade, and I love sharing different art techniques and art tools. Okay, let's jump in with step number one, crosshatching. Draw the watercolor in lines that crisscross or crosshatch over the surface of the straw hat. Don't just go up and down with your lines. Draw them at an angle, or better yet, imagine the lines are wrapping around the shape of the hat. You can easily do this with just two colors, one dark and one light version of a color. Today, I'm using dark and light green. For the areas that are darker, I added more dark green lines that crisscross together. To get these precise lines, I'm using watercolor pens from Hippie Crafter. I'll put their direct link in the video description for you. After you've drawn all your cross hatching, we can move on to step number two. Add water! A water pen is great for putting water directly over the cross hatching. The colors will naturally bleed and blend, but don't worry, you won't lose all that lovely texture we just created. After you've added water, let it dry. After the water is finally dry, it's time for step number three. More cross etching. This time we will use pencils. Just like with the watercolor pens, draw lines around the shape of the hat in a crisscross pattern. For the more dark areas, use dark colors in with more lines and closer together. For lighter areas, use lighter colors further apart. The white of the paper is your friend and it will help be the highlight or the lightest area of the hat. As you layer the lighter pencil over the dark colors, they will naturally blend together. If you're not sure how your watercolor and pencils will look together, test them on scrap paper first. And if you really want to push your bright highlights, then add white colored pencil still applying it in that crisscross pattern so we never lose that lovely texture. The pencils I'm using today are Prismacolor. Also, this coloring page is available for you to download and color along with me. Its link is in the video description. And finally, the bonus tip. When you use watercolor and pencil together, make sure you use heavy or thick paper so it doesn't tear. Today, I'm using a Huhu mixed media paper. It has enough texture and strength to hold all these art mediums. And that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And as always, stay creative.